Come on, head off, head off. Fuck! Head off! Oh, fuck yeah. you! Yeah! Fuck you! Yeah. Fuck you! Eight fucking I never get hit once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fuck. Every fucking thing. Fuck off. Welcome back to Pikmin. We're going to the Forest of Hope. So let's go to the Forest of Hope. And check the Forest of Hope. Cause we have some hope. I am hopeful. I can do something here. And if that and that's a cringeworthy pun, so everything just look keep me like. But show water, show me. My dolphin has returned to the surface, along with the pickman's onion. Being alone on a strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and press A. So now here you go. Underneath the, you can now bring Pikmin out there. And you can do this. Call them all out because that's pretty much what you need. You can only have up to a hundred Pikmin on the field at once. That's not what I wanted to do. That was a screw up there. Alright. There we go. First non red coloured seed there. This is a wall we can't get to, so we'll leave it there now. This is a wall we can get to, so we'll do it there now. Pikmin can break down walls, you. They are breaking the walls down. What are you looking at? Is there any something you can do with the Pikmin? Just break down walls and I've got nothing else I can do. That's just fun. Wee, look at this shit. I'm making you shake it, huh? Oh, I'm making myself shake it. First case of enemies. These are bow barbs. The Great War has been. There we go. If you throw them directly on top of them, you can instantly kill them. One dead. Oh no, that was just that him down. Yeah, you get a purple you get a purple bit if it's them dying, you you get blue if it's the pick one dying. Let's deal with that shit. You wanna try and clear up as much obstacles as you can? Oh, and be careful sometimes with this game. It's really stupid. Pikmin can stupidly kill themselves you. If they make it a bridge like this, apparently if Pikmin end up underneath the bridge they die. Because it's stupid. Of course I'm not that good at the game, so if Pikmin die, it's because of my own fault. This is why of course this is why you need multiple types of Pikmin. Because I, I have all of them trying to work on this bridge. Which, by the way, for the record, I don't need yet. Red Pikmin can't go in water. Okay, fucking leave it alone. Because you can't touch it yet. So. See if you take that. 
Three can take that. Or four could take it, because why the fuck not? Uh. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, that didn't work out like I wanted to do. I don't think I lost it, I don't know. I'm still at 28. I didn't ask you to grab that. Grab the enemy here. I'm leaving them now. And you know what? I am not, de I am not dealing with that fucking thing, so I can take that. <laughs> because, yeah, fuck you! Fuck this shit out of me. Well, all the camera ready for you. Dead I've stuck it, I've stuck it. You know what? No, I won't. I don't want to like, waste to kill a pellet, you know what? You can take that home because you, you look... Pe oh! I said you can take that home, asshole. You know, if you if you leave Pikmin pretty much underground long enough, uh, something good comes out of it. The, your main goal of the game is you want to try and get as many parts as you can a day because I haven't played this out yet but look at the top of the screen that is now your day to night cycle once that runs out the day is over oh, this, is, this is the boring part look at that I've got 56 Pikmin overall Alright, now for something else here. Yeah. Sometimes you see grass here. Yeah. That yellow stuff will come out. Which is nectar. Another intriguing discovery. A local variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar. When the Pikmin drink nostalgically, they instantly mature into flowers. This apparent Pikmin favourite seems to be full of nutrition. Closer observation is needed to determine the strengths and peculiarities of, flower, of, flower, of these flower Pikmin. Yeah, so if you just get Pikmin to dig up grass, yeah. I think you're gone. They will eventually dig up nectar, but make sure you get as many Pikmin as, as you can on that nectar because one one Pikmin can actually drink it all. <laughs> it becomes a more fucking dominant. So you've got to pick one on that as much as you can. Oh that's, oh, that's a lot of nectar, that's a lot of nectar! Come on, get him down there. It's a fight for survival. Holy shit! Come on, everyone, get on there. One Pikmin didn't get it, didn't he? Did 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 it looks like this one got it. My clock is indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must play closer to, to the sun meter on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So it's best for me to re review my monitor's data. Across the top of my monitor are the sun meter and day display. At the bottom are my space unit damage and Pikmin gauges from the left. These numbers reflect Pikmin under my command, Pikmin in the field, and total Pikmin, including those in the onion. Yeah, it's talking about perspectives and stuff. I don't care. One single leaf did not get a bloody fl hold on. Okay, maybe a couple of leaves here. We'll find out who lagged by- No, one leaf never got it. One leaf never got the nectar. Right. And I know that's because he's lagging behind it. Okay. Charge his bum. Ah, got him! They've got a much better feature for. That's how you can take it. They've got a much better feature for that in Pikmin 3. Another part of. Why? It's the Eternal Fuel Dynamo. It has unlimited energy. 
I had unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about shaving electricity anymore. This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. How many did you get? How many did you get? Ten. Okay. Oh, forty! No, I thought it was ten! Oops. I was going to say, just charge the thing. No, I, I want to keep your Pikmin. Okay, I've got 12. That'll be enough to take this guy. Okay. Oh yeah, enemies stay dead for a couple of days, because they will, they will come back after a few days. Yeah. I need to make it through that wall. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. As long as I can get my part, as long as I can get at least one part a day. Which isn't really a good idea. Eternal Fuel Dynamo. This should light things up. No more cameras for me. I have now recovered two of thirty parts. If I can find just three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. That means I can go in right area. Okay, the rest can stay at the base, you know. I want to break down that wall. Break the wall down. Did I deal with that? Wait, how's this ship at my base here? Oh, I've still got you on me. That's how you can do that. Fucking get back here, Lackles. I hate how it's the same button, I really do. That changes in later games, isn't it? You can't press it, then it automatically goes for the other ones. Or, to, or does it always say smashing A? Say pick up things. I don't know. I haven't, I, I've never played Pikmin 2, so I can tell you. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do here. She has five up here. You guys get that back to base, yeah. No. I had that wall going down, didn't I? I think so, yes. No. Grab that. Why are you not wanting the yellow one, Jip? I don't want to take them yet. Oh, they did, did, did get walled in. Is it because it will confuse you? I need to do this. Oh, get away from me! Get off! I killed this kid right in front of him. I want my family back. Oh, they fucking eat it! Go on, they show me! Go away. Do these guys don't they? I like how he storms like, fuck you, cunt, and away. I need to take you back to sleep. That is fucking perfect! That couldn't have been more perfect! Indeed. This is why I'm not breaking the yellows here. Fair enough. Yellow onions right here, so I could just use what's left over. That would have been an. And, and that would have been an amateur mistake, wouldn't it? Yeah. Plus, it, 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 if I use the actual colours, it gives me double Pikmin. A new Pikmin type now! Look at those ears, you. The colour is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one has what, it, in some circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others, and what other ways might be different from the red Pikmin? It must be 
Just to to observe it more closely. I can hold a Pikmin for a moment with A and swap it for another by pressing B. I think it would be sick there. So, I can do this then. Switch to yellow. <laughs> yeah, oh, so I'm going to spend the rest of the day building up, my, building up a yellow army. So you know what? Hold on. Is I, it, I will just suck the top left. I will dismiss them now, just so I can focus on the yellow. Shit. But let me know once you say what we break the boulders. What? Are they able to break the wee rock kings. They could use bombs here. Nice. I, uh, I set these both on a ship I could separate one each of what I said. Both, each. I mean, you said both from the land, he's done the same one. Asshole. It's almost shut down. Which is not good, but. I have made yet another Pikmin related discovery. Just when I was about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field, the only stopped at Spelling Siege. Yet the total number of Pikmin continued to climb. It seems that worse than 100 Pikmin in the field, the subsequent seeds get stored in the onion. Thus, no more than 100 Pikmin can be in the field at one time in any area. Which is why I didn't return my reds, because at least I don't have to waste time plucking yellows. My clocks indicated the approach of sunset. Pikmin waiting beneath the dolphin and onions will probably eat the onion on their own. But if I don't call the stragglers and add it to my group, they may not be able to get back. I'm sure that the Pikmin still planned that are safe, but I'm somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. Okay, so you know what? I'll stop these guys here and I'll put them back in. So I have nine yellows already. And grab these guys. Because see if I just left them there, they'd be gone. Yeah. They'd be gone by one of them. They'd be... Oh shit. What? Your stranded ones might not make it. Well, not your stranded, but the ones that's taking forever. She's she, she's lost it in my party. They're safer. Ah, oh, okay. And if, if they're in the base, they're safer now. I could leave these guys planted. Yeah, actually, I'll leave them planted because if you leave them planted, they'll just start sprouting. So I probably should have just left the yellow planted. Like, how's some of them only got. The white bulbs. Because they've been planted long enough. Ah. Oh, right. You know what? Oh. So does that mean when they come out, they'll already have a floor? No. I'll go to Sean's there now. Sean's have nothing else to do. Not just end today immediately. He definitely had to party there for Yeah. I put all the yellows back in the news. You only had like seven. Or no, nine. But I was going to say, just insert the fucking heck we Warrior Land 4. Hurry up! Hurry up! <laughs> Do more fucking edits, fuck you! <laughs> Pokey Park was a pain in the arse, you! So it's a fucking post game, because. Oh! If you saw an animation of them chasing a Pikmin, then you would have left your mind. Two days since impact, it appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I could just recover the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chances? Then I'd only have to press, to press plus to look at my parts here. Yet there seem to be many hostile life forms here. If I'm attacked and my spaceship takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of it and press A to make suit repairs here. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. So there's my increased pit in pop, pit in population. Red continues to go up but, and then I didn't get yellow until the end of the day. So there you go. That tells you your total at the bottom as well. I wonder how many you'll have lost in battle by the end of the playthrough. Half of them probably. Because <laughs> there's one enemy I can't, I, I fucking hate fighting. That I think I stopped playing goes here. So, next time, even though these are going up two, two days apart, so Oliver is really. So, this planet seems to go one day at a time, but in real life, it seems to go by just two days. Tomorrow we'll go. Okay, next time we'll go back to the Forest of Hope and try and do some more and see if we can do something about those big concrete walls here. See you guys in.